Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss on how to write a linear equation ax plus by is equal to c in the form of y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa. Okay? So dito madali lang. Etong first ay linear equation. So gagawin natin siya or isusulat natin siya in a slope intercept form. So, of course, ang, wa, ang slope intercept form mo una ang y. So, kopihin lang natin si 4y. Isolate natin siya on the left side. Is equal to. The transpose natin si 3x over equal sign. So, papalitan natin ang kanyang sign. Positive siya ngayon. Pag inilipat na, magiging negative. Then, copy 3x. And then, just copy 8. Why? Kailangan lang natin kopyahin si 8 kasi hindi natin siya inilipat over equal sign. Next, I i-divide natin both sides ng number na tabi ng y. Bakit? Kailangan ang y ay mag-isa lang siya. Ibig, sabi ibig sabihin, hindi pwedeng hihigit or tataas sa 1. So, divided by 4, 4 and 4. So, cancel 4 and 4. Meron na tayong y is equal to negative 3 fourth x plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, eto na ang ating new equation. Okay? That is slope intercept form example number 2 so again isolate y on the left side alone so 3y is equal to transpose positive 10x to the other side so it becomes negative 10x and then just copy positive 2 since hindi natin siya inilipat. Again, i-divide natin ang lahat ng term kung ano man ang number meron ang y except 1. So, 3, 3, and 3. Cancel na siya. Then, y. y is equal to negative 10, 3, x plus 2 third. Okay, so ganyan lang po kadali ang pagsulat ng linear equation standard form to a slope intercept form. Okay? So I'm going to give you more examples. Okay, so example number 3 again, uh ito ay standard form to change natin siya, isasulat natin siya in slope intercept form. So, copy 9y is equal to transpose 16x over equal sign magiging negative 16x. Just copy 40. Kasi hindi natin inilipat. Again, kung ano man yung number sa tabi ng y, divide natin siya sa lahat ng term. 9 and 9. Therefore, kakancel na siya. Then, y is equal to negative 16 and 9. Uh, they don't have common factors. So, just copy 16 over 9. X plus 40 and 9. They don't have common factor as well. So, just copy. 40 over 9. So, ito na ang ating slope intercept form. Ngayon, uh, gagawin naman natin ay vice versa. From slope intercept form to standard form. So, ang standard form ay ax plus by is equal to c. So, dapat ganyan ang form ng ating slope intercept form. So, mauuna dapat si x. Okay? So, gawin na natin 3x 
imagine that we're not moving 3x. 3x, okay. Si y, ililipat na lang natin sa kabila, magiging, so positive si y, diba? Ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging negative y. And then, mag equal sign tayo. Si negative 3 ngayon ang ililipat natin sa kabila. So, kung ililipat natin over equal sign si negative 3, magiging positive 3. So, eto na ngayon ang ating answer. 3y minus, uh, 3x minus y is equal to 3. Paano naging ganon? So, eto na ang shortcut niya. Pero, there's another way. Kung gusto nyo, pwede rin ganito. Okay? Kasi baka nalilito kayo. Ilipat natin si 3x sa kabila. So, kung ilipat si 3x sa kabila, magiging negative 3x. Next, si y ay hindi natin inilipat, kaya magiging positive y is equal to si negative 3 hindi inilipat, kaya negative 3. Okay? Pero, kailangan pag magsulat tayo ng standard form, if possible, ang a natin ay dapat positive. So, anong gagawin natin doon? Mumultiply natin siya both sides ng negative 1. So, negative times negative magiging positive. So, magiging 3x. Negative times positive magiging negative y is equal to negative times negative positive 3. So, eto at iyon ay pareho lang. Okay? So, ginawa natin ito kanina para hindi na tayo magmumultiply ng negative 1. Ipa-follow natin kung ano yung mauunang term. Para yun ang magiging positive. Okay? Okay. So, that is example number 4. So, I'm going to give you two more examples. Example number 5. So, gawin natin siyang standard form. So, si x dapat ang mauna. So, meron tayong copy x. So, itatranspose si x over equal sign sa kabila. So, negative, magiging positive. x na siya. And then, just copy y. Since hindi natin siya inilipat, nasa left pa rin siya, is equal to. Just copy positive 7 kasi na-retain siya sa right side ng equal sign. Okay, so that's it. Ito na ang ating standard uh, uh, formula or equation. Okay? Next, number 6. Again, mauuna si x. So, kung ililipat natin siya over equal sign, papalitan natin ang kanyang sign. So, positive 2 third x magiging pa negative 2 third x. And then, copy y plus y is equal to, bakit kinapi lang si y? Kasi hindi natin siya inilipat over equal sign. Is equal to, just copy 2 kasi hindi rin natin siya inilipat. That's it. But then, uh, is it possible na hindi fraction at negative si x? Of course. So, anong gagawin natin? Multiply both sides by negative 3. Okay? Bakit negative 3? Kasi ang denominator natin ay 3. Para matanggal si 3. Okay? So, negative times negative magiging positive. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So, 2x. Next, negative 3 times positive y. So, remember guys, if you multiply unlike sign, the answer is negative. So, negative times positive, negative. 3 times y, 3y. Is equal to negative 3. Okay? Negative times positive, negative. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So, eto na po ang ating standard equation. Or, or linear equation. So, ganyan lamang po ang pagsulat ng 
linear equation in standard form and uh, slope intercept form. Again, sana may natutunan kayo sa ating video ngayon. At kung may natutunan po kayo, please paki-like and share with your family and friends. And of course, paki-subscribe ang channel for more videos to come. Thank you and keep safe.